This is Alin from Javelin, playing with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Let's talk about another nice enhancement in assembly environment, and that's in regards with uh, mirroring components. Um, in the main assembly, as you can see right now, I have one component that I intend to mirror. And this happens in SOLIDWORKS 2012, so you can see how things are being done in the previous release of SOLIDWORKS. If I'm opening this component, this sub-assembly, you're going to find out that uh, one of the components is actually fixed. It doesn't have any degrees of freedom left without actually using the, the fixed uh, condition. Uh, and uh, if you're looking at all these mates, one is pointing to the ground, so I'm going to say this is the one that's fixing the part or is locating the part in the assembly space. If I did this feature, you're going to see that it's in regards to the origin of this part and the origin of the sub-assembly or, or of the assembly and with the align axis condition you know what's happening this thing it's uniquely located in uh, in space good let's go back to the main assembly and let's mirror this sub-assembly so um, I'm gonna run the mirror command I'm gonna use the right plane and the component I want to mirror is the whole sub-assembly let's go to the next screen and uh, I just want to create opposite hand versions for this component, for this component, for this one, and for this one. The rivets are just going to be copied on the other side. Let's go to the next screen one more time. And I'm going to use the option to create new files. So I'm going to have a new file for the, for the sub-assembly and also new files for the components that I chose to mirror. SOLIDWORKS tells me that the mate holding this part in position, I mean this part in position, the, um, the part that I showed you before, cannot be replicated because it's in regards to the origin of this sub-assembly and it doesn't have any idea where is the origin of the new sub-assembly. That means that if I open this component, this sub-assembly, the newly created mirror sub-assembly, things are floating in space because really that mate that I showed you before is missing. So this is SOLIDWORKS 2012. Let's see how SOLIDWORKS 2013 does that. So I'm going to replicate the same thing. This is SOLIDWORKS 2013. Right plane and let's mirror this sub-assembly. I'm going to repeat exactly the same steps as before. And I'm going to use the create opposite hand version to option to create actually new files for this components and let's click OK notice I didn't have any warning popping up and if I am to open this sub-assembly in its own window, you're going to find out that the part that has been created as a mirror of the original bracket contains all the mates that I had in the original sub-assembly. So again, SOLIDWORKS 2013 saves you time and reduces the amount of errors that you might have. Actually, in this case, we would eliminate any error that you'd, uh, you might have gotten in 2012 while mirroring sub-assemblies into the main assembly. Thank you.